Hi guys, this is Charlie. Today we're going to talk about the scarcity value of Bitcoin a little bit and just kind of give you some perspective on it. This gentleman here, Plan B, he goes by an anonymous name, Plan B. He's a quant who studies lots of things in the finance market and he's written quite a few articles. He's written some articles here on um, Bitcoin as of late and his favorite one that everybody seems to be gravitating towards, gravitating towards is this stock to flow model where Bitcoin has a high correlation to follow this stair step chart which is called stock to flow which basically implies that as the asset becomes more and more scarce the value of the asset has to rise and that's basically what he calls BTC STF stock to flow cross asset model he's also done this in gold he's done it in silver and he shows a high correlation of the price has to rise if the value of the underlying it becomes more and more scarce and over time he has plotted this to have a high correlation of value and we just went through a halving here so that halving probably is going to be right about there so right there where that red dot is and that's going to make this Bitcoin become harder and harder to get because it went to the miners who actually find the Bitcoins or actually secure the Bitcoin by solving the problems on the blockchain in order to validate the Bitcoins. They uh, are instead of getting 12 and a half Bitcoins every time they solve one, they're now getting 6.25 Bitcoins. So and that's every 10 minutes. So it got cut in half and that happens every four years. That's what these stair steps are. And it goes up and down, or it basically goes up. And each time it gets harder, you notice the price has a tendency to rise. Over here on the left is the price. Started out here in his model at 10 cents, $1, $10, 100, 1000, 100,000. So that's 10,000, I'm sorry. And then it goes up here to 100,000, possibly in this next wave. So that would be up here along this model. And then if you go out another four years, you're going to see that he's going to probably have it somewhere around the million dollar mark. So that's kind of giving you some perspective on what Plan B thinks it is. He wrote a big article on it. You can go over to medium.com and study it. And he's saying that in May of next year, it's going to surpass roughly $60,000 per Bitcoin at this point based on his basically his stock to flow model and his scarcity model. So that'll give you guys something to go in there and study. I would highly recommend if you're interested in this, go in and read this article. I'm not even going to try and go into the technicals of it because it's very, very technical and he probably understands it, but I don't. So I just understand the overall concept, trying to pass it on to you guys, trying to give you guys a little more information where you can go do your own research and take a look at all of this to see where you think you need to be investing in. And my word of caution here is, is when you're investing in a cryptocurrency, you always want to invest in one that has a limited amount. Don't be investing in those that have open-ended amounts because that would be no different than the currency we're presently on today where the government if they need an extra trillion dollars that can go out and print it so anyway hope that helps you guys um, leave a comment below in the notes if you like this video or want more videos about something else and we'll try and put some videos out relating to those subjects so Appreciate you guys. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.